Hello, my name is James, and this is my first ghost story a couple years back. I was about 19 years old, and I needed the money to move out of my parents' place. So I took a job from a convenience store, since one of my friends recommended me there. It was a good job, nothing out of the ordinary. I had some good customers, some regulars, some bad ones. But they weren't a problem since all they did was rant and complain. I could deal with that. But there was this one customer who came in almost every shift I had. It was a woman. She wore a black cap, had her hair in a ponytail, wore a yellow raincoat, gray sweatpants, and rain boots. It was strange since it never rained, but I never said anything about it. I just assumed that she loved wearing that outfit. But at the same time, she wore that outfit almost every time I seen her. She came in tonight, but this time she was holding a big duffel bag. She looked like she was struggling to carry it. I asked if she needed help. Hey, um, uh, do you need help with that? She stopped and didn't look at me. I paused, looking at her, waiting for a reaction, but I had never got it. She kept on walking and went towards the back. I seen her grabbing a bottle of alcohol from the shelf. She came to the front and paid for it. She didn't look me in the eye, just had her head down the whole time. She always had her head down, never looked me in the eye. I did see her face though. She was pretty, but she looked really sad and innocent, almost distant. It's like she's technically not here, lost her in her head. Then I say, hey, uh, if you need help with things, you know where I'm at. I'm almost here every day. She didn't respond, but I could tell she was thinking about something. I waited for her to leave and take her things, but she just stood there. Hesitant, I say, Uh, is there anything else I can help you with? She finally looks up and looks at me with a strange but cold look. She says in a soft tone, I'm okay, James. I'm a bit freaked out because uh, I don't know how she knew my name, but I remembered I have a name tag, so I just assumed that she saw that before. Knowing that she's been here all the time, she says calmly, Thanks though, you always been good to me. For some reason I felt weirded out when she said that. It was like she's seen me for a long time and just assumed I was a long time friend, even though she never talked to me or looked at me. She then walks out of the store. She doesn't look back. I then decided to clean up the store, but as soon as I step out of the front, I seen blood drips all over the ground. I immediately freaked out, thinking, where did this come from? Then I remember that girl was carrying a large duffel bag. Then I finally re realized something awful. Could she be carrying body parts in the bag? But why? Did I just come across a murder and not even realize it? I decided to call the cops, and when they came, I told them what happened. I even showed them the security tapes. One of the cops got really spooked out. He walked out the door, sweating, panting. Both me and the other officer were pretty confused on why he walked out immediately. But me and the other officer decided to go outside and see what was going on with him. He looked at us and said, I'm usually not supposed to talk about cases, but this case was from a long time ago. I guess I can tell you who that woman is. I felt surprised and curious as he said that. He says, The woman's name was Elena Matthews. She was a 29 year old woman who lived alone, and she had no relation to the words of the victim, which was strange. That woman murdered someone and decapitated them at Marystone Park two years ago. I was a rookie caught then, and I was the one who found her body along with the devil bag, which had body parts in it. Not long after, she uh, killed herself afterwards. This freaked me out because I was working at the store for like a year. This woman was coming at the shop almost every day. Even my co-workers seen her. I explained this to the police officer and even they were freaked out. She also appears in every tape I ever recorded. I was coming at the exact same time, 2 a.m. The cop told me that's roughly the time they found her at Marystone Park. 
which freaked me out even more. Some moments later, we all agreed to move on from the story, and then the cops left. But when they left, I felt freaked out. Moving on three months later, she never came back. I wonder where she is now. Has she moved on from this world? Or is she still walking around Marystone Park? I quit my job at the convenience store and never came back because I was too freaked out.